welcome to the first edition of Abs Made in the Kitchen. Some people might not like that name because anybody that's real tough into the fitness industry clients, they hate to hear that because Abs Ain't Made in the Kitchen. We all know you got to put in the hard work in the gym or whatever, build that abdominal wall. But if you don't cut down the weight and you don't eat right, you ain't never going to see it anyway. Thus for Abs Made in the Kitchen. Plus I need a little clever name to call this that what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, I got a little go-to meal for you guys, uh, basically that I'm going to be making today. Um, I've been saying I'm going to make a meal or do my meal prep for, uh, since I started, and I haven't got a video up, and I'm going ahead to get this video done today. Um, mind you, this is going to be my, my post-workout meal I just got from the gym, had buys and tries today, and, uh, and it adds, actually. Uh, so... I'm about to get into this meal and if you hear any children in the background or the cases that's my youngest and my my oldest boy they're they're home with us right now so they're running around so anybody that knows me knows I'm a huge fan of Chipotle so basically just somewhat basically my take on a burrito bowl from Chipotle um, I'm run down the ingredients real quick for you and then we'll get into preparing everything and all that stuff like that. So, okay, so let's get into these ingredients. So, uh, usually, for the most part, I eat a lot of chicken breasts, um, and I do get tired of it. Uh, it gets to be, you know, repetitive after a while. And you got to kind of switch things up or whatever, because you will get bored with this trying to eat healthy. So, uh, I was in my grocery store, my local grocery store, and I found some. Uh, ground t uh, ground chicken and uh, it's 96 percent lean, 4 percent fat. Uh, it's really good. That's the alternative I've been using here lately. Um, I still get my chicken breasts in with like my regular meals or whatever the case is, but that's something that I use uh, quite often now as well. Um, got my brown rice. Uh, usually keep a lot of fresh produce or whatever the case is, but. Sometimes I go with the frozen stuff just because it's quicker, uh, easier to get sometimes, or whatever the case is, and just get it, throw it in the pan, bam, instead of chopping and all that stuff. But we got some sliced pepper blend right here that I'm going to use. Got some red onion. Uh, jalapenos that I'm running out of. Got some lime. Tomatoes. And we got avocado. And basically, that's pretty much all I'm going to be using. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make, uh, like I said, a burrito bowl, basically. I'm going to make uh, some guacamole, you know, avocados got good healthy fats. And uh, since my lady's eating too, I'm going to make her some pico. I am actually missing an ingredient. I forgot to get some cilantro. But the boy is hungry, and I'm not getting back out to go get some cilantro, so we're just going to eat my cilantro. So, anybody looking like, well, that's supposed to have cilantro? I didn't forget it. I, well, I forgot it at the store, but I'm not going back to get it, so there you go. So we got our guacamole and our uh, pico de gallo done. Uh, we got our rice going on the stove already. Um, and what I left out, I also I got some black beans with no salt added. Um, so right now what I'm about to do is basically I'm about to cook my meat, get my beans in there, and uh, also cook my peppers. Usually when I have my and my ground meat that I usually do anytime. I usually put onions, green peppers, and sometimes mushrooms in there. So uh, basically what I'm gonna do, get a tablespoon of olive oil. Make sure your pan is hot. We're actually just gonna get these in here. Let them get going. Let them 
them rinse down a little bit, sweat a little bit, and then we'll get our chicken in there. And then uh, I never, I didn't talk about my seasonings. I use uh, a lot of this, and this is Dash because it's sodium free. Um, you use as much of that as you like. I also use black pepper um, every once in a while because I'm really not uh, counting calories or in the fitness world counting macros yet. Once I get to a point where I'm, I'm stuck, I can't lose any weight, I got a, a goal point in my head that I want to reach before I actually get real strict and get to count the macros. Every once in a while I use some sea salt, I still use onion powder, uh, and that's about it. Uh, also I use uh, crushed red peppers. While I got uh, my meat going right now, these beans going to take long at all, so I'm going to put them in a little pot. I did say I wasn't counting macros right now, but I do try and uh, be pretty precise with what I'm, I'm eating. So, uh, I usually do it. Get a cup of rice. Start getting my black beans, get my peppers. We already got our, our, our to account for uh, the weight, so we'll get our scale turned on. And I'm going to turn it back on. Get it over the ounces, and we will put That's a quick little meal. Uh, you can eat it. Like I said, I'm eating it for my post workout. I just got through coming from the home from the gym. Uh, like I said, it's one of my quick go to meals. Uh, told you guys I was going to give you a meal and I gave you a meal. So, catch you on the next episode.